Well, hey there. If we're just meeting for the first time, my name is Hannah Harris and I am a traditional Irish fiddler and singer. And today I am going to show you three different ways that you can add double stops into your tunes. So the first place we'll start is at the end of the tune. So you want to know which note you're ending on and what key you're in. So say you're in D major and you end on an open D. You can add a double stop simply by putting your first finger, so a low A, on the G string. That's kind of a nice little chord to end up in. But you could also do uh, F sharp and an A because it's in your tonic chord, so D, F sharp, A. So you can pick anything from there. So maybe a higher D and F sharp on your D and A strings, or you could do an F sharp on your E string. It all depends on what note the tune ends on, and that's how you can build your chord from there. But I pick something that's in a tonic chord. So again, if you're in D major, that's D, F sharp, A. And if you're in G major, that's G, B, D. So maybe you could do... So a G and a B on your D and, a D and G strings, or maybe a B above, or a G above. So all sorts of different chords you can put in there. You can do octaves, thirds, fifths, fourths, depending on which uh, um, angle you're coming at it from. So there are lots of different ways to add in your final note with a double stop or a drone. Usually a drone indicates that it's an open string, but not always. So that's just what I mean when I say drone is just doing an open string. Now the second place that you can put it is when you have a cross string bowing, which is very common in Irish music, particularly in reels. So um, take, you know, Mountain Road, Drowsy Maggie, or Bag of Spuds. So what you're going to do with this is instead of just crossing the strings every single time, you're going to make it actually a little bit easier on yourself. You're just going to stay on one angle. So so you're just going to keep that all in a double stop there. So you can start off with the separate note on open A. a little bit of um, emphasis to um, let people know that that's a different note. So it's slightly different than, but it's just um, just a way to add in a double stop and it actually is, it has this really cool effect of making it sound like there's two fiddles playing. So you can use that a lot, um, particularly with a fifth. That's a good, um, good sort of chord to aim for when you're looking at that part of the tune. And our third and final place for today that we can look to put double stops would be if you have a tune that, we'll say D major for now, um, is staying on the D and the A strings a lot, like there's just a passage where most of the notes are there, and you can get away with having an open string drone. Like, let's take um, East at Glandart. <laughs> Um, all on the D and A string there and you don't necessarily want to have a double stop on every single note but uh, what I want you to do is go ahead and put it in for the entire part just have it all <laughs> that there's parts where it just doesn't sound quite right to leave it in there so you can go through and actually take out those parts like that that chord doesn't really sound like it should be a D chord uh, maybe I'll put something else there or maybe I just won't play a, a double stop in that um, that part so you can look at all these different areas and you can play around with what sounds good and just try adding in like I said just an open string drone when you have a um, tune in D maybe if you're in G, you could use G and D, and then A would be A and E. So you can just go through whatever tune it is you're working on. And like I said, there's three different ways. So to recap, we have the last note of the tune is one of the best places to add a chord in. 
especially if you're just starting out. The second one would be when you have a cross string bowing and you're just kind of rocking between the strings. You can make it a little easier on yourself and just keep the angle the same. And then the third way is to look for the different parts of the tune that stay on two strings and just kind of naturally allow you to uh, do a nice long drone throughout. So I hope this was helpful for you and I will talk to you soon.